Hi guys, uh, today I will show you how we can convert these Canon CR0 images into TNG images, okay? For this, we gonna use DNG lab and link is in description, you can check it out. Let's see how we can install it and use it. So here is your web page. Now on right side you can see releases. Just click on it. So it says 0 0.1.0 version and we got a Windows version and two Linux version. I'm going to download MG64 version, okay? And it is a Debian package, okay? I am going to download MD64 Debian package. If you are using an ARM64 architecture Linux, then you should download that. And also remember that it's a Debian package, so it is going to work on they've been based systems okay now fire up your terminal just start typing sudo d package minus i and place your file into terminal or you can just type manually file location i mean file location you can just type your file location manually and plus press enter and it will ask for your password just type your password and wait for a second it completed now we can close our firefox we don't need it anymore and let's see how we can convert our images into dhg formats okay so my images are located in downloads and if your images are located in any location i will tell you how you can do it first uh, let's uh, change our directory from uh, home directory to downloads okay just type cd and downloads it will change our terminal directory uh, into there uh, I mean the working directory okay and just type dng lab space convert space and name of your image file okay if your images are located in any other directory you just need to type your image location with name okay then you, you need to type output file name I am going to type img.dng you can type whatever you want you just need to type the dng in end okay after typing just press enter the key on your keyboard and just wait a wait for a moment it will complete okay here we go our thing just finished now we can open that dng file in any raw editing program to check if it is working or not i'm going to use dark table okay just wait for a moment dark table still loading that image let's see if it is working or not here we go our image is working fine i think it is better now okay that's good now what if we have lot of images i mean lot of images and typing image one by one going to be so much difficult task so what if we got lot of images for that we need to just mention our folder okay folder location that's it we don't need to do anything uh, okay here you go i'm going to create a, a simple folder to show what you can do now i'm going to move these row images into that folder i named that folder as a canon and go to the uh, terminal then type just type okay oh, also i uh, before that you need to uh, create a output folder as well so i created a finished folder okay you can uh, name it whatever you want you just need to have a folder or a destination folder so i'm going to type dng lab convert and folder name or you can just type folder location okay then i uh, type your output location or destination or whatever your location you want to these images to be converted dng and where you want to drop it okay so that's it and uh, and it will take some time if there is lot of images it will take some lot of minutes i mean uh, while converting it does show some error message uh, saying that it is unknown lens model you don't need to worry about it it does not affect your picture or anything now we can see there is our pictures now we can start editing at all that's it and if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section i will come back with another video thanks for watching